Welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. Well, it seems like the new Touch & Go card with NFC support is now finally official. But where can you buy them and which phone is supported? Also, what's the best SD card for your GoPros? All of this and more on today's video. Alright, so question 1. Should you get the Redmi Watch 2 for cheaper or this? Alright, so for some context, they are actually referring to the Poco Watch. The Poco Watch is actually the company's very first fitness tracker and it comes with 14 days of battery life and SPO2 sensor. Besides that, it also has a 1.6-inch AMOLED touch display and it is rated for 5 ATM water resistance. And in terms of pricing, the Poco Watch is priced at 299 ringgit. Now, moving on to the Redmi Watch 2. Unfortunately, in Malaysia, there is only the Redmi Watch 2 Lite. But the difference between the two is only the screen size and the weight. The internal specs are the same. The Redmi Watch 2 Lite is officially priced at 249 ringgit, and you'll be getting a square TFT LCD 1.55 inch display, up to 10 days of battery life and a 5 ATM water resistance. But if you don't mind the minimal differences, you can actually save a little bit of money by getting the Redmi Watch 2 Lite. Alright, question 2. We have Mark Panther. They ask, Ray, which shampoo do you use? I'm looking for one that can give me healthy hair like yours. Hey Mark, first of all, thank you so much. But my hair is actually pretty dry from all the bleaching and it is not as smooth as I would like it to be. But if you're curious, right, the shampoo that I'm using is Head & Shoulders because ever since high school, I've been using this shampoo because it solves my dandruff problem. So whenever I switch to other products, right, the dandruff will be back. So I usually stick back to Head & Shoulders if I can lah. But don't take my recommendations too seriously lah because different people have different hair types. So in order for you to find the right one that suits you, you have to constantly switch your hair products in order to find the perfect one. And I hope that answers your question. Question 3. We have Lon. They ask, is the new Touch & Go card out now? How much though? Yes, the new Touch & Go card with NFC support is now finally official. So that means no more looking for a random petrol station or 7e to top out your Touch & Go card when you're in a rush. You can now order the card online via the Touch & Go e-wallet app. The new card costs 10 ringgit and there's a 5 ringgit shipping fee. They are also available at selected petrol stations but the stocks are very very limited right now. Oh and I also need to tell you guys about the devices supported to touch up your new Touch & Go card. According to Touch & Go's FAQ, it is supported on Apple's devices with NFC such as the iPhone 7 and above. If you're using an Android smartphone, it can be tricky as not all phone models from various brands offer NFC. A quick way to find out is by going onto your Android's phone settings and search for NFC. If there's an NFC setting option on your phone, it is likely that it will support the Touch & Go NFC Reload feature. Your phone must be running at least iOS 13 or Android 4.4 to use the feature. Alright, last but not least, we have a question from Rob Ben. They ask, what's the best SD card for GoPro Hero 10? Hey there, thank you so much for the question. So we do use a lot of GoPros here in the Soya Chincha office and the micro SD card they were using is the SanDisk Extreme Pro. This micro SD card allows you to shoot 4K and 1080p videos with write speed up to 90 MB per second and quick read speeds of up to 170 MB per second. This allows you to transfer your footage to your computer or external drive super quick. If you're interested, the micro SD card is officially priced at 73 ringgit and 60 cents for the 64 gig version. And if you need more storage, you can go for the 128 gig ones, which will cost you 129 ringgit. There's also the 256 gig ringgit version, and it is priced at 258 ringgit. But if you guys have any suggestion on a better micro SD card, do leave them down in the comment section below. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you'll miss any of our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!